Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Mr. Noisy's out. <laughs> How's she going? Pretty good here. Hopefully you guys are all good and staying safe. So far, we are good here. I don't want to say it's starting to clear up this COVID thing, but uh, I, I don't know. People aren't taking it serious at all. <laughs> Nothing's changed at all. They're still doing whatever they want. It's like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, today's going to be plow day. Hopefully. Hopefully the ground's dry enough here. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Hopefully we're all good. So, um, I'm just looking at the area here, and I've got a mark here. Stick. Where we're going to start. And I'm not sure where the other one went. I might have plowed it over. <laughs> so, bit 42 count this out here okay so from this this is going to be our corner stake here and uh, it's going to go over to that stick there I don't know if you can see it and then stick there it's I mean it's not a very big garden I'm not sure if I measured that right I'm gonna to have to go measure from that stick to this stick because I think I've maybe shortened myself a bit but I'll go measure to this one here so I'm gonna do uh, put this camera here the Sony on the tripod and then I got the sick camera <laughs> make you guys a little bit sick uh, I'm gonna probably mount it on the plow somewhere and stuff for a little bit I'll stay there and uh, maybe on the head mount too a little bit and uh, go from there so anyways so from there from there from there I'm kind of going I'm not going straight it's gonna come out a little bit so I can stay away because there's some tree roots and stuff from those big trees over there I don't want to get into so I'll measure from here to that and see if I got 30 Pretty much 30 right there, so that's that stick, and then there's one I jammed it. I don't know if you can see it over there too, so a fair big area. But what I'm going to do is uh, probably put you guys down there. I'm going to come and then back down, drop the plow, pull, move over. I'm not going to do like a round robin thing because it's so small. Then I can just back up, back up, and then there'll be like a dead fur over here kind of thing, which is fine because I'm going to come in with my uh, disc after I get this a uh, couple of days probably after I get this plowed up here let her kind of dry up a little bit and then uh, I will uh, come in with the disc and we'll disc her all up and then cultivate maybe two so and then she should be good get all this grass chopped up so there we go so let's go get a tripod I guess we need a tractor too I've got the plow hooked up and I did give it a test so hopefully it's all good and uh, it seemed to work pretty good when I tested it in the back there. And it pulled good, ran good. It was good, so I was happy with that. But uh, hopefully I got it set up right. I'm sure it'll kind of peel it over and our uh, disc will chew it all up too, right? So I have to get that uh, serviced up, maybe a little bit, grease up some of the shafts and stuff on it. But anyways, here we go. So, the plow is on, and I had one little issue with this silly trailer hitch, which isn't really supposed to be here, with this guy swinging out and hitting on this thing, and then kind of not wanting to go down. It didn't wreck nothing, but it was also wanting to go that way and hitting the tire, so I put a little wire around it. Hopefully that'll kind of solve that problem. Mr. Noisy's back! All right, we'll hook up the power. The power. Nope. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's not super. It's, it's bottom, bottomed out on me there. I guess I'll have to. Uh, Shave a bit of that off of there or something so she'll close tighter. It's about the best I can get her, so. Now let's see now. Uh, just open that up. I should. Well, I can't really tell in here how much fuel I got in her, but. Neither some. She quits with she probably ran out. Or it smoked something else, so. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave this down for now. Oh, it actually still had a bit of pressure in it. That's good. Um, I noticed 
And I don't know exactly if it's an internal leak in the valve body. It's underneath this guy here. Um, it did a little bit of that when it was up. It would drop and then, but not like often, like about every like minute it would kind of shutter. But then when I shut the tractor off and let it sit there, it was like a half an hour it was still in the air. So I'm like, well, that's good. It's not leaking anywhere in there. So I was uh, happy with that. All right, let's fire it up. Oh yeah, buddy. She's good. All right, I'll just let that warm up a minute. I gotta find somewhere decent for this camera to go. That's not gonna get in the way. And I don't know if this is gonna work because it might end up that uh, might be all right in there or something. So that's pretty good. Hopefully it's a good shot there, though. I can't really tell because my uh, my app won't hook up to the camera anymore. So it's pretty close, I guess, when she's sunk down in. Hopefully it is anyway. So all right, let's see if she'll lift here. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. Definitely likes its warm up. It'll lift a lot faster after the oil's warmed up a bit. So I'll get her out, let her warm up, I guess, and then we'll, uh, we'll hit her, see if it works. Okay, these tires needed a bit of air. This one's really not looking good, so I'm going to have to probably replace him uh, sometime soon here. <laughs> Put some air in it to bring him up a bit, and uh, yeah, it's really not in good shape. This one was fairly new, though. When we bought it, it's even still got, like, the, you know, it's really good. This one, like, brand new. Well, that one's hurting quite a bit. Needs needs some needs some work. like something there.
rebuilt in like 1963 in the old house that was there. They, they buried some of it here, so we've already found bricks and stuff. And holy jumping, eh? Don't get rid of the garbage, just bury it on someone else's side. Alright, so it seems to be working good. That seems to want to go straight down, although I'm digging really, really deep with this. But it seems to be, uh, seems to be plowing it over.
barely on the heart. Poor tree. wasn't too bad at all. I see a little bit fresher oil maybe coming out of those valve covers. <laughs> and here it's looking a little shiny. That looks like it needs a new valve cover. So, uh, but overall, yeah, you know what? That works pretty good. It's definitely damp. It's always wet over here. Um, and I kind of didn't keep going the same length here because I kind of wanted a little bit of a path through here, right? So, but uh, there we go. And the one dead fur was over here. I didn't really want it in the middle, so I kind of left her, you know, where where we left her there. Stupid GoPro, I don't know what was going on with it. It was charged, it's showing two batteries. I didn't get any footage on it. It was shut off. And then you turn it back on, it says, unable uh, to repair file. I'm like, oh great. So, no sick footage for it today from the GoPro. Oh, there's a bit of glass there, that's great. That's great. I'll have to probably clean this up. You never know what you'll find, eh? Little bits of glass. Last for millions of years, if not longer. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, honestly, when they built this new part of this new house in the 1963-ish, they dumped all the garbage over here. There was a hole, like a, like a, a pit or something, she was saying over here. And they dumped it all in here. So, there's some there. Another piece there. Ugh, that's not going to be so good. No bare feet in here. And then I found some more. There's one big rock here somewhere. I'm sure the disc will find it. Big rock. Ugh, ugh. Big rocks. And then over here there was some... Some old bricks and stuff. <laughs> from the old house crazy eh so it's gonna be a bit of a wild ride with the disc on here but uh we'll get her there's like an old piece of a monument or a monument base i'll just throw it under the tree so there we go the plow works sweet actually worked really good really happy with it does need a couple more things yet, you know, of course. Ooh, that one kind of seizured up a bit. Hmm. Oh, we got to go spray this with something now. I'll get it dried off and spray it, but this is leaking still pretty good. That seal. A couple other little things we got to do. I think the next thing that I'm going to do on this thing is probably this governor. pretty good yeah I believe there's supposed to be an oil line come off the uh, filter area and join onto here and someone swapped it off for some stupid reason probably because these seals were leaking in here and it's all wore out so if you leak an oil out there real bad but I believe it's supposed to come off over here there's a little thing here to go over around the front somewhere or over the top maybe and through whatever and then it goes down onto that thing and it's supposed to pressurize a bit of oil down into that thing and then it goes back in through the gears there so that's probably going to be my next thing is that so but uh, yeah that works pretty good pretty happy with that but anyway so yeah that's it probably for that today this tire didn't tear apart which was good but, uh, yeah, I didn't get any GoPro footage for you because that, uh, that still seized up too, needs some attention. That tire's got to come off anyway, so we'll do that when we do that. But, yeah, you can see the odd uh, time it does like a... Mm. So there's a bit of an internal leak in that uh, valve body probably, but... Let's see if it does it here. All of a sudden it'll... Boom. Oh, sure, now you're not going to do it. 
There you go. <laughs> a little bit of a leak in there, but you know, everything else is leaking too, so. But hey, that worked pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. So, we gotta go look at our disc. I should really be changing the oil on this too, maybe. Maybe I'll let it drain out overnight or something here. Should be good mixed around there now. Oh. But we'll do a separate video on that for ya. Didn't overheat or nothing? Awesome. Alright, we gotta actually go around the other way. Grind her till she fits there, bud. disc today too. I should do a bit of a headland there, but I think I can chop that up with the disc. I'll square it up with the disc and not this thing. This thing does make a big mess. Uh, but let's go uh, let's go have a look at this disc. Alright. Hi. I have this disc or I have another one. Uh, the, this one has a bit of an issue. This given her has a bit of an issue here. And I guess from the strain of lifting it up, it just flexes there a bit, and then it's uh, cracked and broke through there. So, and it feels like it's right through. So, there's not much holding that, I don't think. Other than basically these pieces welded on the front here. So, I might even use that other disc. I don't know if I can get it out. It's kind of buried right now, but so is this one. But uh, either one of them should work pretty good. This is pretty floppy here, but yeah, either one of them should work. But uh, we'll hook that up. Uh, a little bit later on here, I'm going to uh, uh, either have to fix this one first or grab my other one out that I've got down there. I don't know. Maybe grab the other one. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, this one's nice because it's adjustable, right? You can adjust the, the deweys. But I always found these things, they need a little bit more weight on them. It's all right once it's kind of already tilled up, but I'm doing sod, so it's going to have to really be heavy. I don't really have anything heavy and big to kind of put on there, right? So... Unless I strap on like a loader bucket or something, that'd be awesome. Anyways, yeah, so that is the disc, and then I have a cultivator too if we need to run through after to do anything else, but I don't I don't think we will. Anyways, there you go, plow day with Bill. That was pretty awesome, it seemed to work pretty good. And uh, it's pretty mushy over there, but uh, it seemed to, seemed to turn it over, I was happy. So, you know what, that's all right, that worked good. I was happy with that. So, there we go. Well, I don't know whether this plow, if I should, uh, I want to show you something. So, see this area that I cleaned real nice? You guys are saying, oh, you don't need to clean that, the dirt will clean it. Uh, well, <laughs> yes and no. This area down here is a little bit rougher shape, and it's stuck to there. See how it's stuck? We're here. It's stuck a little bit too. And mind you, that was wet stuff. But all on the, uh, the cutters. They're all stuck, and I didn't really clean the, the wheel here, and it's all stuck to that too, right? So it sticks to the rust. you got to really clean that crap off. And this is actually not too bad here now, so we'll have to uh, get all the wet stuff off. Then I might... Uh, I don't really want to put any primer on it, but I might get some, some paint to maybe paint onto this after. You can do that or grease. Put the grease to it too. And the old farmers had a big grease pail. And that's what they would uh, grease all these up after, right? But that's not bad. That's pretty uh, dirty dirt there. It didn't really, uh, you know, not really much stuff in it to really wreck things. A couple of rocks here and there, but uh, you know, it worked good. So there we go. But anyways, that's it for Plow Day. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next time. We'll do uh, Disc Day another day or so. We'll let that dry out a little bit. Might have to go and pick through and get some of the rocks and crap out of it too. There's some bigger ones there that I think I want to get out. Um, and yeah, we should be good. So anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day.